This episode of Other People's Airplanes is supported by Sennheiser. Welcome to the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum Stephen F. Udvar-Hazy Center, an incredible collection of aviation artifacts and history, the likes of which you will not find anywhere else. I'm David Allen, and I'm about to take you into the cockpit of other people's airplanes. Here we are outside the stunning Udvar Hazy Center. The Stephen F. Udvar Hazy Center near Washington Dulles International Airport is the companion facility to the museum on the National Mall. The building opened in December of 2003 and provides enough space for the Smithsonian to display the thousands of aviation and space artifacts that cannot be exhibited on the National Mall. The two sites together showcase the largest collection of aviation and space artifacts in the world. Now today is the 8th annual Become a Pilot Family Day and Aviation Display. During the annual event, Dulles International welcomes general aviation, military, and government traffic into the airport to be a part of the event and park their airplanes on the ramp outside the museum. Guests visiting the museum will be able to talk to pilots and learn what it takes to become a pilot from experienced aviators. The last time I visited Udvar Hazy, several years ago, the museum had about 120 aircraft on display. Today, they have about 170 aircraft on display, and yes, that's to say nothing of the hundreds of space artifacts and thousands of other aviation artifacts throughout the facility. While they have not yet reached the maximum capacity of about 220 aircraft on display, there's still plenty to see, so come on in. Here we are folks, this is the Boeing Aviation Hangar and it extends from as far as you can see that way to as far as you can see that way and there's lots and lots of airplanes here. Let's go see what we can find. in front of the SR-71 Blackbird, record-setting airplane. They say it would go Mach 3 plus. Personally, I think that means it'll do like Mach 5.5, but nobody will ever confirm that, at least not in my lifetime. How do you navigate when you're going Mach 3 plus in a place where there's no GPS and we don't exactly have their published VORs? This thing at 80,000 plus feet would actually look at the stars using celestial navigation. That's incredible. Now this is 
Bob Hoover's Shrike Commander. It's a twin-engine, seven-seat, unpressurized business aircraft, but Bob, the best second rudder pilot to ever live, would turn this thing into an aerobatic show, and it was a masterpiece of aerobatic action. He would end his show by pulling the power on both engines, shutting them off, doing a loop and a roll, a 180 degree turn and a dead stick landing and an unpowered taxi back to show center. The guy knew how to work energy and he knew how to fly airplanes. I am now outside the Boeing aviation hangar on this grass area. There's the flight line in front. This is the north side of the hangar. The south side's over that way. And there's airplanes out on the flight line. It's a little bit after three o'clock. Actually, it's almost 3.30. The event is wrapping up and the planes are departing. Unfortunately, we were so busy inside earlier today, we didn't really get to come out and see some of these planes, but there's lots of them. So I tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stop talking and I'm gonna show you some airplanes as they taxi off from the Ubarhazi Center uh, and get ready to take off from Dulles International Airport. How does that sound?
The cost of flight training often dissuades prospective pilots from pursuing their dreams of flying. Sennheiser Aviation and its Live Your Dream partners want to help relieve the financial burden of flight training by awarding monthly scholarships to those who are willing to share their enthusiasm openly with the rest of the aviation community. Sennheiser wants to learn what sparked your fascination of flying and why you want to take the disguise to become a pilot. Scholarships include a $1,500 contribution to your flight training, as well as valuable prizes donated by their partners. Whether you are just starting out as a private pilot or delving into an advanced rating, Sennheiser's Live Your Dream program wants to help. Simply have your flight school sign up for free as a Live Your Dream flight school. Then, write a short essay or produce a short video explaining why you are passionate about aviation and what you intend to do with the scholarship. A panel of aviation experts and enthusiasts will judge all of the entries each month and award one $1,500 scholarship. For more information and to apply, head on over to this link right here. Sennheiser Aviation, helping you to live your dream. Sennheiser started the Live Your Dream program last year when they teamed up with My Transponder to do scholarships for primary flight training and this year they're expanding it and they plan to give away eight fifteen hundred dollar scholarships for people to learn how to fly this is your opportunity to get a pilot's license and get up into these amazing airplanes you can find out more about Sennheiser's live your dream program by going to this link right here I'm super excited to say that Sennheiser has asked me to be a Live Your Dream ambassador. This is going to give me some really great opportunities to talk to people who are living their dream and to just show the world the magic of aviation. So stay tuned for the things that I'm going to be doing as a Live Your Dream ambassador. Now this is going to wrap up our coverage of Become a Pilot Family Day 2012 here at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum Stephen F. Udvar Hazy facility. This has been just an amazing time. It's my first time coming to the event and I can't wait to come back next year. We had a great time down right over there doing the radio show with, with uh, Flight Time Radio. Uh, Milford Shirley was there and Pilot Damon of, uh, you can, you know, Pilot Damon on Twitter, Damon Favor was there uh, on the air and we had a bunch of great guests. We had such an amazing time. You can check out more about Flight Time Radio by going to this link right here. Huge thanks to Damon Favor for working the camera. All this motion that you see and these awesome shots that we're getting today is compliments of him. So make sure you're following him and make sure you check out the relaunch of his show, The Pursuit of Wings, at pursuitofwings.com. Follow him on Twitter at, at twitter.com slash pilot Damon. You're not going to be disappointed. He puts out fantastic content. And uh, I just can't thank him enough for for coming and helping me with this event. And I know there's no way that I can give you the full effect of what this museum will do to you, but I hope we've at least given you a taste of, of the Udvar Hazy Center and, and what this entire museum has to offer. And I hope we've given you a taste of the Become a Pilot Family Day. Make sure you come out next year. I think it's always on Father's Day weekend, so come on out on Saturday and, and just enjoy what this, this, this place has to offer. Until the next time, and there's going to be lots more footage coming for different episodes, make sure you're following me on Twitter and uh, have a chat with me. You can uh, follow me at this link. I'd love to ch chat with you and, and just have a conversation online. And, and also make sure you're please following our Facebook page at, at this address right here. We will catch you next time for more Other People's Airplanes. Thanks for watching. It always helps. <laughs> that was such a it was run. it was a practice run, you know. It helps when you actually go to the camera and push the record Is that button. My job. <laughs> You're the camera job. operator. I just stand here and look pretty. I'm the talent. Well, well, I don't know if I'm very. I'm not very talented talent, but I'm the talent. Very good at looking pretty. <laughs> I'm not very good at that either, right? <laughs> Extreme close up. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs> I mean, you know. It's like here all we are. Motion, all this motion is like, give me some motion, you know. <laughs> it's like I, I'm totally this this whole motion thing that we're doing here, audience. This is thanks to what I've saw, seen on the Aviator. So if it sucks, it's their fault. <laughs> <laughs> Email them. Oh yeah, <laughs> Anthony Nolly, executive producer. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're doing our best here. I'm just trying to. I'm trying. I'm really good at copy and paste. You know, I I, I don't come up with anything on my own. Everything you see on this show 
I said, that's great, and that's great. I'm not creative. I just take things that I like and I make them work. So, I know what you mean. Yes, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wrap this up.